Hey everybody, this is ESP LTD Guitar Lover coming to you live from Milford Gold Key Studios where I told you I would be back with another Trey Tang guitar. And uh, this one, I'll give you the code number on it first, is a G167-119-119. Seller is the same seller I've been using, J-I-X-K-L-C-P-I-N-G-998. And this one happens to be a, a tangerine model. We'll get into that in a minute. Let me give you the specs. Uh, specs on this one is mahogany three-piece body, maple veneer cap, mahogany neck, it's also got a D-shaped neck profile, set-in neck, adjustable truss rod, 24.75 scale, rosewood fingerboard on this one. But you can order an ebony fingerboard. You can basically order what you want added on to these guitars at any time. You just have to ask the seller. Uh, trapezoid inlays, 12-inch uh, fingerboard radius, 22 medium jumbo frets, but they seem just a little bit taller. Um, bridge and neck pickup are the Alnico 2 type pickups and I'm sure when you flip these things over you'll see exactly who the company that makes them. Uh, we've had a lot of people on YouTube claiming that um, their pickups are not wax potted and stuff like that. It seems like a hit and miss uh, lately. Um, every guitar that I've ordered from Trey Tang so far has had wax dipped pickups. Um, it seems that uh, other people who order from different sources uh, seem to end up with a hit and miss. Sometimes they're potted, sometimes they're not. It all depends. But so far, the ones that I've ordered from Trey Tang, from this seller, have all been wax dipped pickups. All right. Uh, the bridge and yeah, okay, bridge and neck pickup. Uh, volume and tone capacitors are not the orange drop type. They're more along the lines of an ESP LTD type. Uh, tone pot, uh, like the, around the 200k type uh, tone pots, which you can live with. If you can't, just rip them out. You're going to probably do that anyway. Uh, Three-way toggle switch, good toggle switch. Uh, Tunomatic uh, stop type the tailpiece setup on this thing. Um, let me see what else. Oh, nut width. Nut width is 1 and 11 sixteenths. Hardware is nickel plated, and it's got 14 to 1 tuners. And what I was going to say was, and that is, is this. I, know, I saw this guitar on another YouTube tube video, um, a guy named Pixie Licks, a fantastic player. And when I saw this guitar, I was like, I gotta, gotta have this one. So went to my seller, asked him if he had something similar to it. He watched his video. Yeah, gave me the number. All right, so now this is where I started to have problems quality control-wise um, with the Trey Tang guitars. I hadn't up until this point. Uh, I didn't really have fret issues or anything like that. So let me, just, let me show you the guitar really beautiful looking front panel on this. It's it's a really nice looking tangerine burst. All right. Beautiful matched top. It really is the quilt on the top is really nice. All right, as we go down, the problem that I had was with this fret right here. All right. It was actually starting to slightly lift. So took care of that, hammered that down inside there, and getting a little bit of fret buzz in this area here. So I had to polish up the frets with uh, Gorgamite and bring out the files and the tools and all that stuff. Wasn't really much of a major job, but what, that's part of the problem that I noticed quality control wise. Um, now these guitars show up from the fa uh, show up, you know, to to you with the action extremely low. Sometimes where the, the all the frets are buzzing, you raise it up a little bit and that's fine. Um, I usually go like a quarter's width. But what I really noticed that the problem was... Oh, also, yeah, your, your famous scarf joint covered up in the back here. All right. Now, I, I have a lot... There's also a lot of people sitting there saying, well, I don't have a scarf joint. I don't have a scarf joint. If you don't have a scarf joint, then you got it from a different supplier. Um, actually, to tell you the truth, I would rather prefer a scarf joint on it because it makes the neck stronger. Um, easier to replace if you break the neck on it. A lot of other things like that. But that's my opinion. So you can take it or leave it. All right, so now you've also got, this is where I ran into the quality control problems. Take a look at the back of this. See that right there? It almost looks like somebody dropped stain on it and didn't quite brush it through and just laid there and coated it over it. That was where I noticed that the, like I said, the quality control started to get a little bit worse on these guitars. Now. Like I said before, it's, it's on the back of the guitar. It really doesn't bother me too much. I mean, who's going to see the back of the guitar? But when you start seeing things like this happen, then, you know, you're figuring, okay, what's going to happen next? And there you go. It's about sides and everything else and that are pretty much well perfect. I, the, the, the tangerine burst on this is really beautiful. I love this guitar. I love how it plays once I got the, um, the fret problem fixed. 
Um, I really do like how it plays a lot. Um, I'm eventually going to end up replacing most, if not all, the pickups on these guitars with the Seymour Duncans, like the Pearly Gates and stuff like that. I just have to look into um, getting them in bulk. <laughs> and uh, also changing the tone pots, the volume pots, and things like that. But that's for future videos. I just wanted to see what they were going to be like, just stock. All right, so there you go right there. That's pretty much what it is. Let me see if I can get a little bit more closer on that for you. All right, the, the, the finish on this is really nice. It really is. i got to hand it to them. The top of the guitar is really a beautiful-looking guitar. All right. And uh, thanks to Pix Licks, or Pixie Licks, for... Uh, showing his and that because I would have never have known that this thing existed. This is a really beautiful guitar. Um, volume and tone, pots and all that stuff like that. Everything fits nice. The fit, in, the fit on this on the top was nice. This is just the the thing that really irks me a little bit right here is just this sloppiness back here. Um, but other than that it, it played good. It played well. Um, just needed a little bit of TLC to it. Um, I like the Gorgamite uh, fret polish and fretboard cleaner and stuff like that because it really, when these things come from uh, from China, the uh, fretboards are filthy on this. I know a lot of you have made comments about it. There was a video on it with, with some, somebody actually showing how, how filthy it was. They were cleaning it and stuff like that. And they, these things are really filthy. So they do need a good cleaning when you get them. Um, but other than that, just with a few adjustments, letting it come up to temperature, uh, dehumidifying, and then uh, changing the strings on it and stuff like that, it worked out well. All right, so I am going to be back with, uh, let me see, what do we got coming up next? Oh, we got a, uh, a JP Sunburst. I can't give you the guy's name, but I'm sure you just figured that out right now. That's the next one. And then after that, we have a Honey Burst. Yeah, we got the Honey Burst coming up. And then we got a JP Double Neck. And then we have a three pickup Black Beauty. And then after that, then we're going to be going into the... Um, the, I guess, Fender type uh, Telecasters and stuff like that, where I just got a beautiful butterscotch Telecaster that you guys are going to really love. Plays awesome. And I plan on putting some lace sensor pickups in that one also. So that's in the next couple weeks. All right. So this is ESP, LTD Guitar Lover, coming to you live from Milford Gold Key Studio. And uh, like I said, if you need to... Um, know anything further as far as these guitars, parts, or anything like that, just uh, shoot me over an email and uh, I can give you a uh, couple of guys in that or on YouTube and that who really know their stuff when it comes to replacing parts like this. All right, I plan on using their advice. So this is ESP LTD Guitar Lover coming to you live from Milford Gold Key Studios. And remember, shut up and play your guitar. Bye-bye.